Yeah, but let me ask IMF. Were they not aware of the hippie that we went to? You are giving that question to IMF. IMF. Yeah, they were aware. So if we have been to hippie before, and now you are giving them money, so you should be, we should have come down here, like the way they came here for the slavery, for the slave trade. But you don't sit up there and say that, oh, we've given your people this so that our children, children, children will come and pay those money to their children, children, children. It's a slave trade we are continuing. So another episode on your voice, we're finding out what do you think on the IMF issue. Ghana is eventually trusting to IMF and you want to find out what is on the ground, what people really want to tell us, tell the government to go ahead, to halt or to stop. Let's get talking. The country is recently going to IMF after the e levy brouhaha and all that. Please, um, what do you think? I don't think they should go to the IMF. The politicians need to put their things in order. Uh, one thing we have to observe is in the institutions, are they putting the right people there to manage those institutions? We are not doing the right thing. That's why we are always facing those challenges. Now, the politicians should think. Now, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, the first president, have in mind that we have oil in Ghana, and therefore we are going to discover oil in the near future. That is why he let them place uh, this term oil refinery. Why is it not working? Now that we are getting oil, our 10%, what are they doing with it? If they say the equipment there are not accurate to the current things, why don't they look for loans and fix those things and then refine our 10% there so that they can uh, sell the fuel at a cheaper uh, price. They know what they are doing. They turn the oil refinery into farm tank and they are doing business out of it. So they should put their things in order. I don't think we need somebody to come and tell us do this, do they do this. If we have the men, we should use the men, we should use the techno class to work and then think about the uh, uh, vulnerable people and stop talking of those things we always rely on the white what are they doing what since independent what have they done for us we have to think for ourselves so could e levy have done um the homework for us well i think so but it, it seems the uh, opposition make a lot of noise on it and i think uh, people become afraid of it but if we understand what we are doing i think they should have go ahead and do whatever they want to do it's not about the money you are taking from us. It's about what you will do with the money. And then the sincerity. If you are, we are paying the tax and you are doing a, a good work with that, we don't have problem. But today you hear corruption here, corruption here. Uh, that is where the problem is. So they should fix those problems and then stop relying on this white. They are not going to help us. Daddy, do you pay your e levy? Yes, I pay. Wow, I, I like the way with which you said yes, you pay. Yes. So, um... I'm a business person. So, so far as I do transaction on the mobile money, I, I, I do pay and I don't have a problem with that. Supposing um, with this IMF initiative, the, the GRS says that they are giving to everybody the contribution they actually paid into the e-levy coffers. You think you get an, um, an, no. a huge amount of money? No, I, I don't think. You see, from us, it's a huge money, but to go, uh, from us, it's little money. But to government, it's a huge money. So I don't think they should reverse it. They have to go ahead and do it. At least you will get some amount of money because you do pay. Well, if I get it, I like. But I think if it's going to help, help the government in order not to go to the IMF, they should put their things in order and do it well. So in a sense, you just don't, um, wouldn't advise that we continue with the IMF initiative. They should come and uh, uh, control us. That is what I don't want. Our, our leaders should stop relying on this wise. They are not going to help us. Do you think it's slavery in disguise? What? Do you think they going to the IMF or relying on the whites is slavery in disguise? Yes, yes, it's slavery. Because if we have the men, why, this is the time that African leaders have to take advantage. Because what is going on is not uh, only Ghana, it's global. And we have all the resources here. So why are we still relying on them? They are hot over there. If you see US, Canada and those stuff, they are all hot. And we have the resources here. So African leaders should think and take advantage of what is happening and then build their own countries and stop relying on these people. They are not going to help us. Please, what's your name? My name is Kofi Annan. Kofi Annan, like Kofi Annan, peace That's and... the same name I'm giving to. I'm called Kofi Annan. 
Wow. Wow. Yeah. Ghana is eventually threatening to um, IMF recently. Yeah. After he left Isaga and all that. What do you think? IMF, they are part of the suffering we are suffering. Do you know why? Hey. Yeah, because when IMF are giving them the money, they don't monitor them what they do. They just want to borrow them so that the country just keep on bearing, bearing, bearing them. They are peddling a lot of... I don't know how to put it, but this IMF, uh, I mean, sponsoring our leaders to just rob and corrupt us. If they want to give them money, they have to make sure that their, their money is being supervised for something else. But they just go for the money. Right, like right now, they say E-Levy. They say this. We don't have any improvements here. But look at the number of burden from Kufu time. Look at them. Um, huge money. I, so IMF is sponsoring them just for we to suffer under them so that we can own them a debt. But don't you think that um, IMF, okay, we, we actually think, or hear that IMF gives them regulations as to how they spend the money. I know you, oh, you've not heard that. I, I, really, I, I, really, I really hear that, but let me ask IMF. Were they not aware of the hippie that we went to? You are giving that question to IMF? IMF. Yeah, they were aware. So if we, we've been to hippie before, and now you are giving them money, so you should be, we should have come down here, like the way they came here for the slavery, for the slave trade. Yeah, so, so they should have come down and make sure that no, the people who are being to hip it before. So if they, we are giving them this money, we make sure that it to be constructed for this. But you don't sit up there and say that, oh, we've given your people this so that our children, children, children come and pay those money to their children, children, children. It's a slave trade we are continuing. So you mean going to IMF in our time today, 21st yeah. century, yeah. is an intellectual slave trade or what? Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a form of another pen robbing slavery. Would you tell the government because it like we, we thought that ELV is coming to save us of all our financial traumas, but now it looks like it has even aggravated the whole issue. What would you tell the government? Oh, really? As for this government, I don't know what I'm going to tell him because him at his age he can't listen to we the you because they are not in our shoe. So they are sitting there conditioning, they're telling her that we should shut up because when we are telling them the truth, they don't understand what we're telling them. But who facing like we are on the street right now? How many minutes have been on the street to see or witness what we went through? I'm a security personnel. Do you know how much they pay me? Nobody cares about that. So for the president, anything we say, he doesn't listen. So the only thing he goes to listen is either election or by demonstration. But for IMF, don't bring IMF. They are part of our problems. IMF is one major problem in Africa facing the whole Africa. Kofi Annan, thank you. Um, the president has authorized the finance minister to process documents to IMF. W what do you think about this initiative? Um, you see, first of all, whatever I say now cannot uh, reach anywhere because just like how the Ilevi came, that. Um, Ghanaians were like, hey, no, we'll not pay, we'll not pay, we'll not pay. At the end of the day, we are all paying. It could, it could actually be that they, they would want to, they may cancel E-Levy since we are eventually going to IMF? Oh, not at all. We'll still pay the E-Levy. That's what you think? Yeah, and, and we'll still go to, uh, to the IMF and, and take the money. And you watch by from now to December, tow book issue will also come back again. Okay, since we started paying E-Levy, have you been contributing? Oh, no. Oh, really? So, <laughs> in the last time I contributed, I, I mean, I think um, I was sending 120 CDs to someone, and I didn't know that the 100 CDs is for 24 hours. So, I first sent 100 CDs, then I was sending the 20 CDs, then they did that 30 from the 20. I was really hurt. Okay, so, right now, if they decide that they will, they will give back everybody's contribution to them, how much will it get? Oh. Maybe five cities or something. <laughs> Have you heard that we are going to IMF? Yeah, I saw it in the news. One of those news um, news hubs. Yeah. What was the first thing that came to your mind? Oh, I see it as an irrelevant thing because Ghana is a blessed country, and if we put our systems in place, as in, if we should make things right, we don't need to be seeking aid from some other places. We can do our own things. You rather prefer we pay E-Levy? Is E-Levy going to make us do our own things? That is, that is the, the, the notion they give to us, that E-Levy will save us from all our financial traumas. And now IMF. E-Levy is a calculated way of theft. They are just doing it way of theft, you know, just to make some money from the citizens. Because what is E-Levy at all? Wow. Okay, so does that mean that you don't pay the E-Levy at all? Anyway, I have not fallen into that or I have not come across that. So, so right now, <laughs> if, if they are to distribute everybody's contribution to them, you won't get anything at all. 
As in to contribute, uh, whose contribution? Your contribution to the E levy. If nationally they are giving everybody's money back to them. If it is, if it, if, if it is mandatory that everybody is supposed to. But in this way, unless you go through the electronic um, system before you can pay an e levy. Exactly. So no, once once you do a Momo transaction, you de you automatically pay. Yeah. So in this case, if I don't do Momo transactions, that means I'm not paying. So you don't get anything at all. I won't. Okay. I see. I see. But you you just don't like the idea of re going to IMF. Yeah, I, I don't think it's essential. It's it's irrelevant. What are some of the things that you think the government should put in place to secure us financially? The first thing is, you know, we all working, doing hard to put some something on the table for the family, right? Now, if the stomach gets what it needs, I think people will be at at peace. Right? What I'm saying is, if we grow what we eat, and we eat what we grow, things. Or our system is going to be adequate for us. We're going to see things are in place now. But it's like whatever we intake or anything we put in, it's all being imported. If it is rice, it's imported. If it is oil, it's imported. But then we can do everything here. There are many things we can do of ourselves. But we see it like buying people things to sell that will make us someone. That's what I'm saying that it's irrelevant to go back to IMF. So what we eat, we eat what we grow. It will reduce the financial hardship, the economical hardship, economical something. Everything will be at ease. That is my own way of seeing things. So let's know what you also think. Do we need IMF? Do we uh, intensify taking how we are taking our e levy? Or what do you say? What would you also say about this whole thing? Comment section. Always open 24-7. A big shout out to Sexy Malam and Sammy K. My name is Mandy.